I think uh, probably the biggest thing that I I was impressed with is the fact that, especially in the Navy, if if you were willing to work. Nobody stopped you. You could uh, pretty much uh, go as high as you wanted to, and uh, that kind of impressed me because uh, pretty much coming from the part of the country that I came from, we were held down an awful lot, and uh, you weren't allowed to do different things. You know, you weren't allowed to work on airplanes or things like that. And uh, when I got into the Navy, they, no, they. Nobody said I couldn't work on airplanes, I couldn't work here, I couldn't work there. In combat, and all of a sudden he said, uh, you're going to be my night maintenance supervisor. I said, well, wait a minute, I'm kind of one of the junior guys there. He said, well, you're going to be it. And I guess he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. So he gave me the job, and uh, I guess I did a satisfactory job because uh, I kept going up the ladder and kept going up the ladder. <laughs> if you're working up on that flight deck and you got airplanes landing around you and it's pitch black and all you can hear is noise, you can't, uh, it's, they, have, they turn off all the lights and all it is is noise, and you make one step, and especially during the days when they had the propellers, you could be chopped up, or with the jets, you could be blown over the side or suck kind of one in the intake. So it's constantly, you, you have to have your head on a swivel all the time, and a lot of people don't realize how dangerous it is working on the flight deck. It is very dangerous. I would say that it was was an education for me, and uh, looking back at it, I don't think I would trade it for anything because uh, the benefits that I gained from being, you know, spending my time in the, in the military was well worth it. Uh, I have no qualms whatsoever.